All right, hello again. It's uh, Mike from Morgan's Vaping Reviews with uh, Ken. I guess you guys are all starting to get to know Ken. Uh, tonight, <clears throat> we're going to be doing uh, uh, The King. Now, Suicide Bunny, obviously everyone knows who that is. They have a, another line, which... Ha, <laughs> you dodged it that time. <laughs> I saw it coming in. Yeah. <laughs> It's just stay, <laughs> just stay on track here. All right, I'm I'm on track. Uh, Suicide Bunny uh, has a second line, which is called uh, the the King's Crown. So we're going to be reviewing one of the flavors on uh, the King's Crown, which is on their second line, and I'm pretty sure they're getting a dripping line coming out. Now, just to clear something up, this is not one of the flavors off their their dripping line. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to spoiler alert already. This fucking bottle is almost empty because that's how much I like it. So I just want to do the review really quick before it's empty. Uh, so the one we're doing is called The King. And it's uh, with the glare, eh? It's just fucking stupid. You should fix that. I'll try. Okay. Uh, so it's called The King. I'll run out tomorrow and I'll get all brand new lighting. Yeah, it's called The King by The King's Crown line, which is ultimately Pip uh, Suicide Bunny. Uh, and this is a 3MG. It doesn't say on their website, the VG. Yeah, it doesn't say. I mean, they kept everything very secretive. Yeah. Like, they yeah. don't even tell you what's in there for flavors. Yeah, and I, you know... Uh, <clears throat> Which is kind of cool, I guess. You know? When I look at the, the Viscosity, I can't do my little bubble test because the fucking bottle's almost empty. So Yeah, thanks for sharing, dude. <laughs> this is good. Anyways, uh, I would, if I had to guess, I mean, I'm no rocket scientist. Uh, if I was, I wouldn't be sitting next to this fucking guy. Hey, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say 70% 70, 70 VG, roughly. Uh, they, they do have a, a drippers line coming out. Or it might already be out, and that's really high VG. This is like the Fortune 500 of, of, of vapes. They're, they're pretty pretty up there. Anyways, uh, first we'll go with the smell. Yeah, all your notes. Well, which is really cool because on the flavor description, it basically gives you a. It doesn't say, oh, it you're, doesn't say anything. Yeah. Anything about flavors? It just says infused with mysterious flavors. Yeah, the flavor description. Oh, so I guess it's up to you to decide. What yeah. It oh, like. you're gonna love it. It's perfectly blended. So we get it for marketing. Uh, they don't want to list specific flavors, but when I smell it uh, and and vape it, I I taste that peanut butter, but it's not an overpowering peanut butter. It's uh. Uh, like right, right like you smell peanut butter and, and you taste it too but it's not one of those vapes that is like like you're eating a thick peanut butter sandwich it, it's more toned it's down more peanut butter cookie okay you don't you don't have to sound gay when you say it i don't but well, it, it smells more, like a peanut butter it's, cookie it's more peanut butter cookie it smells like a peanut butter cookie okay all right peanut butter and cream does that sound better yeah it does Okay, then it tastes, smells like peanut butter and cream. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know. I, I smell peanut butter, but it's, I mean, I've, this is not the first bottle of this I've had. I've had lots of this stuff. It's literally one of my favorites. Uh, it Yes, it has a peanut butter taste, and it's just strong enough to taste it and enjoy it, but you don't get sick of it. You don't get tired of it. I actually would vape this shit so long, after the second or third bottle, I couldn't taste it anymore, so I would have to move over to... A different juice for like a week or whatever before I could taste it again because that's how much I like this one. Okay, are you done story time? You got notes to follow. Yeah. Next thing. Uh, give me shots, I'll give you shots. Well. Uh, even though I've smoked this shit a lot, I've never actually tasted it. Like this. You want to try that? That's thick. Yeah, it's about a... Yeah. <laughs> and that's not even their, their dripping line. Eh? It's... When you taste it physically like that, it tastes a little bit... Bitter. A, a little bit bitter, a little bit chemical. Uh, 
Definitely, it's not a shining moment for sure. Some juices taste really fucking good like that, okay. and and some just don't. And but now let's uh, as far as vaping it, uh, you can go first if you want. Tell, tell me what you think. Why don't you go first? Well, I because it, anybody that knows me personally knows I, I love this flavor. Oh, and also, yeah, nobody that you're looking at in there and that's watching you knows you personally. So, well, there's a couple of them. Hey. Uh, my mother watches this. Okay, so a couple of them know you personally, yeah. but for the majority of it. Anyways, yes. Hey, Mom, if you're watching, love you lots. I'll see you this weekend for coffee. Guaranteed, without a doubt. Uh, without fail. Coffee this weekend, 110%. Uh, before we, we talk about how it tastes, 99% of the time when I use this, it's at work and it'll be in my tank. Uh and it tastes great in the tank. And tonight's the first night I actually put in a dripper because it's not a dripping juice. Uh, and it fucking, it, it still tastes good. <coughs> what do you taste? Peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck do you expect, man? See, I, like, I'm going to sound stupid because I know this ingredient's not in here, but it's fucking weird because not only do I taste peanut butter, I taste some kind of a nut, like, aside from peanut butter, like like almond um, or something, like no, a... Uh, hazelnut. Yeah, like, it, it does taste like... But don't quote me on that. Like, don't get all stupid on YouTube about that. It's just my personal opinion. It, it tastes like a like a peanut butter, like a, like a hazelnut or, a, oh, like, a walnut peanut butter, but... And definitely there's some kind of a cream base in there, whether it be like a sweet cream. There's something else in there, too. Uh, I mean, there could, there could, I don't know, there could be like a sweet cream or, or uh, something in there. It's something in there basically to round out the flavor, uh, to make it so it's not just peanut butter. It, it's a, I think I'm having a hard time with it because what I've been smoking all day. Yeah, it's but not. And there's there's peanut butter. I think you're right. I think there's like hazelnut or something in there. Something like that. And um, either cream or milk or it's a tough one though. As far as the clouds, uh, let's not even talk about that because it's it's just it's standard. It's average. It's. But the thing is, with this line, they're not trying to be a, a cloud chasing juice with this yeah, line. Yeah, they weren't going for clouds. No. They're going for flavor for sure. Yeah, they're they're. I'm sure <laughs> they're they're dripping line guaranteed. Like this company has got a pretty good track record when it comes to quality, and I'm sure their uh, their dripping juice will have a better better. I'm sure it's going to be good too. Yeah. yeah, but this is not known for clouds, but it does give out a decent vapor. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit more in, so I'm going to give it a dry hit. I have hardly any left actually, but. We'll go out of the nose. Do you have any sting or no? A little. Oh, yeah? A little tiny bit, but not. Nothing. Not as smooth as some of the other ones. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, you're right. Right on there with that. It's, it's just a. Fuck, I gotta watch my light. I was gonna say something. <laughs> it's just a. Uh, we're a gonna get a swear jar. That's what we're gonna do. It's just a, a very slight, uh, just a slight sting from the, when you exhale through the nose. Uh, but that's also we're we're using it on a dripper. It's not their dripping line. Uh, that that could be why. I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I've put a lot of juices in the dripper. And I think it's probably just the flavor, maybe very, the type of sweetener or something they use. Same or, when you inhale through the very slight, very slight throat hit. When, when definite throat hit on it. Definite, definite throat hit? Yeah. Okay, I find a slight throat hit, not much. <laughs> I've got my air holes closed off a lot of the way, too. So. Yeah, mine's open all the way. This is a dark horse. But I find a, a, <clears throat> a slight throat hit, not too much, but a, def, a very small sting out of the nose. Now, I find there's more flavor when you exhale. Yeah, there's not much on the way in. Yeah, yeah it's, it's more weird. flavor on exhale. Yeah. Yeah. I would say when you decent clouds of it though. 
That's not bad. I would say when you inhale, you, you get about 30% of that flavor you're probably supposed to taste, at least for me. But when you exhale, you get it all. You taste like a mild peanut butter with some kind of a nut or something. It almost tastes like, not peanut, but something aside from that, like a, something to round it out. As I'm thinking hazelnut. Yeah. Well, like we could guess all night. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But uh, trash or stash? <clears throat> First off. I I'd buy it again. Yeah. Definitely. Without a doubt. It's a good juice. Oh, that's weird. Because, no, I don't, I don't. I don't do what I buy it again. I don't, I don't do that. I do trash or stash. I don't. Trash or stash is your thing. Don't okay, go forcing that on me. <laughs> would you throw it in the trash or would it be in your private stash? I would buy it again. You can't yeah, even... it would be in my private stash. Okay. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, son of a bitch. you can't even say it. Uh, for me, 110%. Uh, uh, this... It, it is in my private stash. Uh, this is none left now, but uh, I've got one shelf at the house. There's probably about 12. <laughs> <laughs> There's about 12 of these fucking bottles fucking empty. Fucking shelf is as wide as your fucking yeah, TV full empty bottles. I tried I tried their uh, <clears throat> mother's milk, and to me it was just a very standard strawberry mix. I, I, you know what? Uh, I, I tried the, 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 the mother's milk one too, and it didn't taste anything like strawberry. Well, no, I tasted strawberry, but like everybody, I think they just went so crazy over the, the, the marketing strength in the packaging behind Suicide Bunny, that Mother's Milk got probably a bit more of a pop than it should have. Uh, yeah, personally, I didn't like that one, <clears throat> and I just stayed away from the whole line. No, I didn't dislike it. I just felt I've had like 50 other strawberry vapes that were on the same level, but Mother's Milk just got such a pop in the media. But this, uh, the king... I mean, to me, personally, and somebody else might not like this, and they might like Mother's Milk. I'm not trying to sound politically correct, but for me, the king is just, it's just really good. Yeah, it's nice. Like, uh, it's literally, I would say it's probably... I'm not a big fan of peanut butter, so that's why I never bothered going in yeah, and that juice. I'm but okay with peanut butter. I'm not a huge <clears throat> fan of it. Like I, I, I probably should have put the bias away and actually tasted it. Yeah, like, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter either, but this tastes good. Like, this tastes better than a... Actually, just eating peanut butter or whatever. Now, I didn't think peanut butter would be good in a vape, but no. But you said before we started the video that you tasted like a to say, there's caramel another, popcorn or something. Uh, I was uh, I can't remember where the hell I was, but I saw one flavor. It's lychee nut. Lychee nut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some. <laughs> there's some weird shit out there's there. There's some. Yeah. You know, and it's for marketing, right? You you want to think of a funny name or a cool name or a, you know, mean sounding name, whatever. Like, uh, but as far as this goes, I would say out of all their flavors, I'm glad they called that one the king because that is the king. And I also wonder if it's like a, if it was like a pun, you know, Elvis the king, right? Peanut butter could have been. I, don't I know. think you're looking too far into that. Either way, uh, maybe you're right. Who knows? Because, so, well, where are they based out of? I think Texas or something like that. Oh. I can't remember now. Uh, I'm pretty sure Texas. Uh, Pip is the owner. It's uh, a blonde-haired girl. I think her and her husband, I think, or maybe, I don't know if she's, whatever. But uh, Can't say I know her. No, I don't know her either. <laughs> but she's, uh, she's on Instagram and very, uh, they know how to handle marketing. And I think that's why originally uh, Mother's Milk got such a huge pop from, from the media. Like, uh, you know what I mean? This company knows how to do the marketing side of things. Either way, long story short, this is their second line uh, called uh, King's Crown. And the flavor of that line is called the King. I mean, I give it uh, definitely this private stash. Top three juices, I think, mm -hmm. that I've had so far. And uh, don't forget to check out Ken's channel. He focuses more on, on uh, devices. Yeah, I've got a couple of reviews up, a couple of tutorials up. There's more coming this week. Yeah, he focuses on devices. I focus on, on juice. Do you want to say anything with your channel before we bang it off? I just, uh, I've got videos up now. I mean, if, if anybody has any suggestions or something they would like me to review or uh, a build they'd like me to look into, either make a comment on Mike's videos or come over to my Facebook at, uh, at Cloud Chaser or follow the links or whatever it's got to be and leave your comments and subscribe. Yeah. I'm going to keep pumping that bastard out there. Subscribe, 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 I don't, subscribe. I don't think I subscribed to your channel yet. No, I don't think you have, <laughs> you asshole. But Pardon my French. I'm going to put a link. See, you offended French people. How? Pardon my French. I'm going to put, <laughs> I, I'm going to put a link 
to, to what he just talked about. Uh, I think you've offend, offended more than just one group of people. I'll put a link to this <laughs> in the description. Uh, I'll put a whole bunch of links down there for you guys to check out. Yeah, just fill that fucking comment section up. Have a good night.